we talk about biodiversity we value biodiversity but we don't understand that the biodiversity that is in the wild in the forests in our lakes in our ponds in the oceans that biodiversity will not exist if we don't value biodiversity in our own lives and that is why we need to understand the connection between the biodiversity in the wild and the biodiversity on our own plates in our own kitchen first food is about the food that we must value the food that we must treasure the food that we must celebrate because it is about our culture it is about our bodies it is about our nutrition but most importantly it is about nature if we lose the diversity of food on our table we will lose the diversity in the forest have you ever thought about the the white fluffy stuff which is called a makhana where does it come from i'm not even sure how many of us recognize the fact that this fruit is from the wetlands of india and it is very nutritious it is something that we should be we can eat as a snack uh, but on the other hand we have to also recognize the fact that if the wetlands of india disappear and particularly across bihar and up where makhana comes from then the makhana will also disappear we deliberately called the book first food the reason is that this is first food and not fast food it is it is it saddens us to think that as india is getting more modern as we are getting more into food we seem to believe that it is the fast food culture that makes for good food and we have to recognize the fact that that fast food culture is taking a huge toll of our health um it is adding to the obesity burden in this country and it is bad food on the other hand there is this enormous le good nutritious food that we had in our own houses that were cooked that was cooked by our grandmother from uh, the materials were collected locally we need to reconnect to it we need to think about the environment from where it comes the forest from where it comes the 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 pond from where it comes the lake from where it, where it came so if we can value this food once again if we can learn about it if we can bring it back into our lives then this first food will determine both our food culture in the future but also our health